Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? It's Justin Rowland, and I'm back again with another video. And today we're gonna do something a little different. Um, I'm gonna talk about a phone that's very controversial. It was controversial in 2016, and it still is today. I would say. Um, we're gonna talk about a phone that I, did, you know, this is a phone I did a video on six months back. I want to say it was. Um, we're gonna talk about the LG G5. So, what I want to do first is I want to give a quick overview of the design. So starting at the top, we got your 5.3 inch 2560x1440p resolution display, which is it's LCD. So at the top, that's the display. We got headphone jack, which is nice to see. Um, although I would prefer head the headphone jack to be on the bottom, but this isn't my phone, so I guess I can't really say much. Um, coming over to the the left of the headphone jack. We got your IR blaster, which is, I mean, I never really used it too much, but some people it's still nice to have. Then, over, staying on the top, there's not, staying up here on the top, there's nothing. Move down. To the left, we got volume up and down. Nothing below that. Um, right side, there's nothing. Then, I believe... It's one of these two. There's two little, two little ridges on this phone, like two little holes on the top and the bottom. Well, actually, yeah, there's one little hole on the bottom actually, which I that's this on the that's bottom right. That's where the SIM card the SIM. and the SD card goes in. Yep, yeah, the SIM card, the micro SD card. Then we got the then we got the the battery, which we'll talk about in a second. Then we have starting starting to the right. We have your USB-C port. The left is the speaker, and then that's it. Oh, actually, no, that's not it. Then on the bot on the bottom left corner, we have this little button here, and we'll talk about that in a second. Um, but there's a little button here. You press it, and we'll I'll explain it in a second what it does. So while we're on that, let's 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 start off with that actually. So. Oh yeah, sorry guys. On the back of the phone, my my god, back of the phone we got your 16 megapixel primary camera as well as your wide angle 8 megapixel camera. Then we got your power button and the fingerprint scanner, and that's it for the back. So, anyways, back back to the battery and the, this button. So this is something that you're not gonna find anymore. Well, I'm going to press this button, and the battery's out. This is one of the last phones that have removable battery. The LG V20 being the last. And it's easy to put it back in. All you do is just turn the phone upside down like this. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you turn the phone upside down. Then you... Hang on. You gotta, sometimes it's a little crazy. Hang on. All right. Come on, line up. Okay, there we go. Oh, wait. Okay, there we go. Then you put it straight up and down, then push down, and then when you hear a click, your battery's in. Now, originally, this was supposed to be a modular device. Um, LG had these little, get, these little accessories called LG Friends, which nobody bought. You had a... Um, camera grip and a um a hi-fi DAC um but nobody bought them and there were supposed to be more front LG friends that were supposed to be developed but nothing came of it so anyways what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna boot the phone up and there's nothing really special to this boot animation really but I'm just gonna boot it up and I wanna and I wanna see how fast this boots up so here we go little vibration now I obviously I can't read this but I know it says LG G I mean LG life is good powered by Android because that's what all LG phones say okay there's a Verizon screen still on a Verizon screen now it's I believe it says hello I believe okay 
Now, I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Whoops. Oh, no, no. Okay. There we go. And I'm just going to type in... I'm just going to type in the pin here. This is not my pin or anything, but... Okay, now I'm going to turn the volume back up. Music volumes at the 100%. Okay. Home. So now that, the, now that the device is booted up, I'm going to lock this real quick. Fort screen off. And I want to... Lock screen. I want to show you guys this fingerprint scanner. It is, a, it is a really, really good fingerprint scanner. And it locks really quick. And all you, gotta, all you have to do... Is just place your right index finger or your left, whichever one you use, or your middle finger, wherever, wherever finger you use. Just place your finger on the fingerprint scanner like this. Device unlocked. 4:29 p.m. And you're in. Home with separate apps list. So that's pretty cool. It's really quick. Let me just show it again. Screen off. Lock screen. Device unlocked. Really quick. 4:29 p.m. That is very impressive. Home with separate apps list. I'm actually very impressed with that, with the fingerprint scanner on this phone. But it's not all rainbows and sunshine. It's not, it's not all positive with this phone. No, 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 no. Okay? See, this phone had issues from day one, okay? I mean, it, you know, there was a lot of design issues. There was, you know, issues with boot loops and just... A lot of different things and people weren't buying the LG friends this this button to um, you know take the battery out and switch out the friends some buttons were, were very hard to activate were very hard to press and you and you almost had to yank the battery out like you're gonna break it or something it was very it wasn't good just the phone is the phone does not have a good design to it um, the feel in the hand this is a metal phone but there's a primer paint on it. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap the back of the phone, and I want you to hear. I'm gonna I'm gonna tap it like this. That doesn't sound like metal at all. It's it sounds like plastic. It's not. But listen again, like that doesn't sound like metal at all. And it doesn't feel like metal either. It feels very plasticky. But it's metal. I mean, it's just you know this primer paint that LG put on, which I don't understand. I really don't get it. I'm not. I don't know what what they were thinking with the design of this phone. I feel like this phone was rushed, pretty much. Um, but things have went downhill for, for LG since then. Um, you know, this phone didn't sell well. The G6 isn't selling well. The V30 is really not selling. But um, also another issue with this phone. Now it's probably not going to do it while I'm doing a video because it never does. But there is major issues with the touch screen. You go to double tap something and it, it just it doesn't activate in the first try. You have to keep on you have to scroll to it and keep and keep on tapping until it activates. Let me see if I can Let me see if I can if I can get this if I can demonstrate this. I'm probably not gonna be able to. Let me just try. Device unlocked. Okay. 3, 1 PM. So I'm gonna tap home with separate apps. I'm gonna tap the apps button, the app drawer. Apps. Oh, Oh, yeah, it is doing it. Okay, see, look. You heard it say apps. I'm tapping it. And nothing's happening. But if I touch, what if I touch it again? Apps. Apps page one of two, comma, Ooh. five lines. Oh, there's a little lag there. Um, but okay. So, I see I had to touch it again. And it opened. So, it did do it. Okay. Home so, we're going to go back home. Screen one of three. And that worked. We are able to go to the home screen. Um... But screen off, lock screen. This phone, I want to, you know, I, I want to say nice things about it, but I'm an honest YouTuber. LG is not paying me or anything to to leave leave good reviews. That's not that's not happening. 
I don't have much nice to say about this phone. I mean, this phone has been nothing but problematic. This is my fiance's second. Re this is my fiance's replacement phone. LG G5 it was her first one. Well, crap the bed. Had a boot loop. Yep, boot loop issues. You couldn't make phone calls or nothing. Um, and so you know, it. it I. I really. I can't recommend this phone at all. And my friend's brother too. He's having he has this this phone. And he's having GPS issues. So I I can't. In 2018, I can't recommend this phone. I really can't. What I will say though is if you just need a if you need a backup if you need a backup phone, okay. You can find this phone cheap, and then th this phone I think is a solid backup. I I think it could be a solid backup phone. I, daily driver, no. Backup, yes. Um, it's a, it's. I think it'd be a decent backup. The battery life is decent. The screen is decent. The software is still a little questionable. Um, but you know, it's got a, it's got a it's got a pretty decent camera too. Front camera is not that good. Back camera is pretty good. Um, but overall, for for anybody looking for a new phone, I wouldn't recommend this. But anybody who needs a backup. I would say you could probably get this phone. I mean, it's pretty. I'm sure it's pretty cheap online. You could probably pick it up. Even me, the one that owns it, I don't even recommend it. Exactly, and and that's and that's coming from somebody who is who who is an LG fan. Um, you know, she's she's been comfortable with LG just like I am with Samsung. But she can't recommend this phone because it's just plagued with you know the issues with this phone. I mean, the, the bad outweighs the good, I would say. Um, but, and you know, also too, software support on this phone is not good at all. I mean, there's no, there's no word this phone's going to go real. I don't think, I, I predict this phone's not getting real. That's my prediction. I don't think it's getting real. I don't think LG's going to put its time into the, into this phone that didn't sell at all. I don't think they're going to put their time into it. I just can't see why they would. It wouldn't make, it wouldn't make sense to for the cost to put time to update this phone to Oreo. Um, but, so, anyways, to summarize, should you buy this phone in 2018? No. No, if, if, if you're looking for a new phone, no. If you want a backup, if you have an existing phone and you have a backup, then yes, buy it. But don't buy it as your only phone. Okay, I would not, I would not recommend it to that. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Justin Rowland, and I'm out. Peace.